And this is part two of the story you've been waiting for. This is AJ from Maryland. Came out after he fell out of a tree when he was 13. Fell on his back. Hurt himself. Soccer player all through college. Went to the barber. The barber always noticed something was wrong. Has terrible 10 out of 10 neck pain and low back pain. Has brain fog. Can't sleep. Went to tons of chiropractors. Specialized in upper cervical. Took drugs. No help. Found my channel. We noticed he had ankylosing spondylitis. Check him out in his range of motion here. Terrible. Awful. Took some x-rays. Saw exactly what the problem was. I just Boom. lost him off the table. Booyah! I gave me 100% pain after a week, about down to about um, feeling 60% good. Gotcha. Now tell us what you learned this weekend. You said that when you're sitting at the computer about your shoulders and stuff. Yeah, um, I learned a lot of things about seating. And usually when I sit with my shoulders hiked up, I start to feel tension in my neck and my shoulders. So I go back into the ape hands pose that allow me to um, just decompress. And how much does that feel better? Um, it, it makes me feel relaxed and the tension automatically goes away. Goes away. We are gonna do a new atlas adjustment. Why is it new? Uh, because I've never done it from the side before. And so uh, you guys saw me do this on him last week with a lower neck adjustment. So this is all new too. I love freaking all this new shit on these people. This is Atlas up here. Woo! Oh my God, this thing is tight. <clears throat> I couldn't get it, I couldn't get it. So go ahead and lay on your back. You got some of it. I got some of it, I know, but not enough. Yeah, I can actually get it better this way, I think. <clears throat> yeah, much better that way. Did you feel that, dog? Now this one is the lack of turn side. Oh man, that's tight. <laughs> so this thing is so tight, I think I'm gonna actually put him in a little flexion. I don't like to do this, I like to put it in extension, but um, because his neck, his uh, curve of his neck is so screwed up and it goes so much the other way, I'm gonna actually put him into a position that he wants to be in, like this. I mean, you don't wanna do it, but I'm pushing his chin down. I like to lift his chin when I adjust somebody to put it in the right position in the long run. We just gotta get some motion in here. So we're gonna do something a little bit odd here too. Drop your chin here. Oh, wow. oh God. Oh. 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 Didn't expect that. Oh my God. Oh, you got that. You got in there deep. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> the reason I always spend time on the shoulders, guys, is because they're intimately connected to the neck. <sighs> and so by relaxing the shoulders, hopefully we get a little bit more neck relaxation. We're going to work on the shoulders and we're going to work on his clavicles and adjust them again, too. <sighs> I can't wait to do it. I'm also going to work on his reverse neck curve, so there's going to be a lot of video on this one. This shouldn't hurt at all. <sighs> yeah, scare the crap out of him, though, right? <sighs> Relax. Relax. <laughs> Uh, Pretty painful? Uh, this one particular one here. Uh, working on his clavicles, we can hopefully reduce all this neck uh, neck tension on here and have it lift his head better. So, let's see what happens. Mm. Oh, wow. Ah! Oh. Did you guys hear that? Oh. Did you hear that? Uh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I'm surprised it didn't hurt more. I feel like you, gave, you would give me. Uno mas, guys. Here we go. Yeah. Ah! That one hurts. Oh. That one hurts. Yeah. Oh. Did you guys hear that? Yeah. That was big. That was big. Ooh. But again, the whole idea, guys, the reason I do this is one, it's fun. But two, we're trying to relax all these scaling muscles all up here. Because by, by releasing this bone right here, this is the connection point for all the muscles in the neck. When we do that, it releases the whole neck. Oh. I still feel the after effect. We're gonna go reverse curve here, guys. And uh, I know he's on his side, but this is the only way I can adjust the spot. We just come right in from behind and right there on the apex of the, ah! of the neck. Oh, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. You got it. Oh, oh. This is the hard part, That's right? That's the hard one, yep. Oh, this is the deepest you got for on this side. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, wow, you wow. got it, you got it, you got it. Ooh, dog, give me a chance, let me. Yeah. Ooh, I <laughs> he wants a little time. Oh, my God. 
Creep up on me on that one. Yeah. You want me to warn you next time? I'm gonna warn no, you. no, you never warn me nobody. <laughs> you just go in there. Uh, oh, this one is a lot deeper this time. Yep. So uh, he's going better than I could have ever hoped to imagine, and he's being very brave because to know all this crap is coming has to be very difficult. So I'm just trying to get right on the apex of this. Oh, I see, I already popped a little bit. To get right on the apex of this, of this. <laughs> Didn't move nearly as much as this. Feel it in my shoulder. I may have to uh, do that from the laying down position because you're getting so much more flexible. I can't uh, quite get tension anymore. Last week, I don't know how I did it, but it was just God's grace. Because last week was real painful. I haven't shared a tears this week. No. And last week by now I was crying. Exactly. Oh, tension is off. Ooh, that, was, that one right there was the miraculous one. <sighs> so it looks like it hurts a lot, but you're happy with the results. I mean, compared to last week, yeah, trust me. So much better. Can't believe it. I don't know how I went through last week, but last I week. I couldn't believe it. You're like, just do it. So lucky for you, you were able to take it. Oh, I'm going to need ice. Oh, I can feel the bulging. First of all, I want to know how did you do with the driving? Driving, great. Did it feel differently? Yes, it felt differently. Yeah. And so how did it feel different? Because after you have your hands out and I'm not used to it, and my back was up front more, Yeah. that felt good. It felt good? Yes, it felt good. Feel more comfortable to drive? Yes, more comfortable. Definitely, um, it was a little challenging having because I'm used to so leaning back, <coughs> so like um, this um, back muscles and core muscles mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Had, we had to go to work. But over time, just sitting in that position <coughs> like that was yeah. good for my back. And I noticed when I was getting out of the car, there was no tightness. And normally, you have a little tightness getting out of the car all the time. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, once yeah. I sit down for too long in that awkward position, it gets so tight. Yeah. But like this time, you just. It felt like it was a stretch. Yeah. Good, good, good. It's like good. somebody stretched my lower back. Okay. So that's why I have to force you to kind of try something different. Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't want to try it, but you have to force it. And then all of a sudden you go, wow, it's a different yeah, way. It's, it's good. a better way. Like, yeah. especially at the end result, when I got out of the car, my hip feel looser. I don't feel no tightness. I'm like, maybe I need to be making more effort. <laughs> exactly. You know, like, I mean, like, once I see results, I get motivated. I get it. But the thing is, is that you guys, when you go home, you need to be able to motivate yourself in a few things mm -hmm. and see the logistics and see the, the logic of what I've taught you and go, well, oh, Dr. Thayer showed me so many things. Maybe I should try to do the good posture sitting mm -hmm. in the chair over here. Or maybe I should stand differently when I'm working. Maybe I... When I'm in the, um, in the garage working on the bench, right? You're like, mm -hmm. well, maybe I should think about good posture when I'm working. So all those things, hopefully, you click in your head and you take home. Yes. How would you sleep last night? Um, a little different. I tried to, um, I because I went to the back first, laid on my back, and eventually the body gets tired of laying in that way, and I wanted to move. So this typically, before this, I used to sleep on my Sorry. right side and facing this way. So this time around, I try to, because this side of the back that you was still kind of sore. So I didn't want to lay on this side, but I was like, okay, let me just experiment and lay on this side and see how that feels. So I laid on this side, but I noticed the pillow wasn't able to support my neck enough. You know, I don't have the firm pillow. So I was feeling like a pool here. And you said that's terrible. Yeah, so I'm like, eventually I had to return back to the to the back. So uh, when you guys come after a couple weeks, <laughs> um, uh, very generous patients sometimes bring me gifts, and this is a good one. So if you want to uh, <laughs> think about something when you love me, <laughs> love me with Don Julio. <laughs> this last two weeks, I would say, is the most challenging two weeks of my life. I came in here 100% broken, and after four doctors have given up on me, and this guy was able to give me my life back. I love it. That's awesome. I mean, I came in here from head to toe, I was just in pain. My whole body was just frozen. Couldn't turn left, couldn't turn right. Shoulders were tight. 
breathing was difficult, hamstring were tight, gait was bad, I was leaning on one side, one leg felt shorter, my neck was very tight, driving was becoming difficult. So, but with him, two weeks in the boot camp, kind of gave me all that back. I came in here with 100% in pain, head to toe. Yeah. And I would say I'm leaving at 80%. When he said a boot camp, I, I'm like, it's not going to be something serious, but after two weeks, I was tired. I'm tired. <laughs> all the adjustments. How much do you want a day off from this? A day off. Not, uh, he, doesn't want to, he doesn't want to fly back tonight. He loves you, honey, but he doesn't want to fly back tonight because he wants yeah, a day I off. Yeah, I just want a day off and just relax and sleep. <laughs> I came in here off. specifically for neck because that was affecting my life. But the lower back has been a chronic issue. I couldn't move my back, like flex forward. Now I can do it. I would say lower back, 70%. Left knee pain, I think from the bad posture, and my hamstring were really tight to the point that I couldn't stand upright. My legs, I couldn't keep them straight. I forgot. Wait, I was how I how was hard like is that. it? Is, it's easier to straighten your legs now, right? It's easier to straighten my legs. He couldn't now. even he couldn't even straighten them before. Yeah. So now the hamstring are loose. Um, I haven't felt knee pain throughout this week. No knee pain. Right on. Brain fog. Um, I'm a lot more, especially. I used to have a hearing difficulty in one of these ears, but with a lot of the jaw adjustment, that kind of helped with my hearing. And brain fog, I'm very focused right now. I remember things and I don't get mentally tired easily. Um, sleep was one of the challenging ones. Um, since I've been here throughout these two weeks, it's been challenging us not to take naps during the day because that's what I used to do to make up for the um, sleep time lost at night. But now that I've been here, and some of the sleeping technique here showed me I'm able to really rest in a comfortable position and I'm waking up in the mornings without without neck tightness or stiffness. Oh, that's right. Yesterday was yeah. your first breakthrough. Yeah. You go, you woke up, no there was, tightness. There was no tightness in my neck. And you said getting out of bed was what? Getting out of bed. There it was, used to be a chore. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. now I wake up, no neck tightness. Because that was one of my big um, effect on the neck. Every time I go to bed bad, I wake up the next day, I might either have to ice or do bengue or do some stretching just to get some relief. But with this technique, I go to bed and wake up. Okay, that was one because I, my gait was getting so bad when I used to walk. I used to walk like this, and then I used to, I used to limp. But now everything is straightened now. You guys can see my shoulders; they're all aligned. This hand could not even move the way it's moving. I was like solid frozen. How is your driving now? He told me this morning. Um, we're driving again. This guy always have a new trick. And he showed us a driving technique, how to sit well in a car and how to drive and that has helped me a lot because usually when I sit too long in a driver's seat, when I get out my back is so tight, now when I get out my back is how about, your, how about your vision for cars too? Ah, uh, my vision has improved, I, I'm able to see side to side now yep, yep, yep. and all that stuff. Good. I have a 16 month old daughter, I wasn't able to carry her, I wasn't able to play with her the way I want to because of all the aches and pains, but now I think after going through this boot camp, that will, I will be able to play with her more, run around with yeah. her. I cannot wait. To see I told that. him to take a picture and send it to us because for some reason this whole procedure the last two weeks has, in my mind, been solidified by him picking mm. up his daughter. I can't yeah. wait to see that. I will definitely be back. I mean, for routine tune-ups. And if you need a miracle worker, this guy's hands are blessed. Come and see him. Do my best. So All thank right. you so much, sir. Mm -hmm. Now, just a quick question. How much better is this now versus it was when I first did it the first oh, time? Man, the first couple of times I used to be screaming. Now, you guys are going to see me stretch him. Oh, 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 my gosh. I've had to come up with a new way to stretch him. Um, I do it for my patients who have zero range of motion. And so you guys are going to see me actually do a double move here where I actually stretch him like this. And I'm pushing as hard as I can, guys. And it's shifting a little bit too. How does this feel to you? Good. Uh, uh, I'm gonna to take you home with me. So we're gonna do this way now too, okay? Stabilize your shoulder, and we're just gonna... Uh, as hard as I can do. <laughs> and the reason I do that is I'm trying to loosen his neck up so I can actually adjust it. Mm. 
Okay, so let's get this shoulder here. Oh. This one here, good. Now this one's gonna be a rough one. We didn't get much of it this morning, so I'm kind of curious. I'm gonna do it in a little different way. I'm gonna bring him back more. I'm using my thumb instead of my finger. And he doesn't... Ah! Ah! I guess I figured it out. Oh! Wow, that didn't go at all this morning. Not like that. Oh, oh wait. Oh. Uh. Ooh, wait. So this morning I missed it. I didn't even get hardly this at all. We did it twice this morning. This is much better. This is way better just from this morning. Uh, that first side went loud. Oh, that's, and that's the bad side too. Yeah. So I'm gonna set up right here. Good. And this is about two, T2, T3. Good. Good, there he goes. And so all I'm trying to do is get him to... He loves it. That was really deep. We're moving stuff, guys. As you see it, life changing movement. Oh my god. My shoulders are sinking in. Before you couldn't even do this. Couldn't even feel them. Like you can't fold it like this. It was so tight. And then tell them about the Adam's apple. I love this story oh, too. Oh yeah. Never well, heard this before. Now I have a grown man's Adam's apple. <laughs> He never saw it before. He never I don't look it. like a teenager no more. <laughs> okay, so the reason we do this again is to loosen all these things up. Ah! Good. Oh my god. Okay, last clavicle, guys. This was the bad side in the beginning. Ah! Down. Did you guys hear it? Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh my. Exactly what he needs. Oh my god. He nailed me on the cross. I have no sins. You cut it off. That's uh, it. I have no sins. 